Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for the fun gradients. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody, this is going to be super quick, but hopefully also super cool. Once again, hit create new design and let's go down to creatures and characters. Let's hit the more shapes and more shapes and more shapes until we find one that looks fun to play with. I am going to use the cute little frog. When you bring it out, you notice it's one color. We are going to use some cool tricks to make it many, many colors. So I am going to switch from basic shapes to design starters. I'm going to hit more again and again and again until we get the wicked cool gradients. There are three of them to pick from, and then also we'll try and make our own as well. You have to click more again and again and again, and then boom, you finally get access to this one, which I'll bring out. And then also we'll hit more shapes and we can bring out this one and this one. Now friends, this technique is really fun and it was shared with me by Mrs. Ross Davis. It is so simple. Go back to your basic shapes, bring out a cube, make it bigger than the item that you just brought in for a mold. So I've got that little frog mold. I'm going to hide it for just a moment and I want to make the frog a hole. This way it's going to cut out. Now I'm going to grab our mold and I'm going to do a line just to keep it organized. I'm going to do middle, middle, and of course I want it on the bottom when we hit group on those two shapes. All right, friends, if you look underneath, we cannot see what we cut out. And that's because this frog does not totally touch the ground, which is kind of cool. I'm going to switch from solid to transparent. And there you can see the amazing cutout of our cool frog. I'm going to make it a hole so that it's better at slicing. I'm going to bring our cool gradient design over and I need to make it smaller than our hole. So notice I'm just shrinking it inside with the black handles. These are the easiest way to move and adjust. When I've got it arranged just the way I want, you can double check and hit a line and say center and center. And of course you want that one on the bottom. And friends, when you group, you will have a wicked cool multicolor frog. Bam! How epic is that for a cool little tree frog? So friends, let's say you want to do it again though. We need to ungroup and we need to click on our outside piece. So notice it shows us it's the whole. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to do shift nudge to move it over. And friends, let's go try it with another color. This time I'm going to take this one and rotate it so it's green on the bottom blue going up and I'm going to shrink it so that the lines are closer. This should give me an even cooler pattern. I'm also going to do control D and set this over here so I can make the orange one as well. Friends remember if we get it close make it a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller with those black handles. I'm going to hit D to drop that block up I'm going to shrink the block a little bit more, making sure it's inside. That's got to be inside or it won't work. Let's do our align, click, and let's do center and center and group. And of course, wait a few moments as it creates an amazing little frog. This is cool. You can see I messed up. So friends, all we're going to do is ungroup. And I had this too large. So that way you can see what happens if you don't do it correctly. It's so easy to just ungroup, retry, and boom, make your awesome tree frog. I'm going to group that one. So I've got two tree frogs. And then I'm going to go back to the last one. This one I'm going to keep in this order. Once again, I'm going to stretch and adjust and raise up. It is totally in the block, but it is awful close to out of the block. I can select a line and do center and center and center. Let's group and boom, all of a sudden we have got a super cool, beautiful, colorful set of tree frogs. Friends, let's say you don't like these colors. Watch this. I'm going to do ungroup and I'm going to do control D so I have another one of my templates. I'm going to move it out here and then I'm going to group those so that they stay the way they were. Now, friends, I am going to make my own custom gradient. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to stretch this and type 40. I think that's going to be a good size. I'm going to change the height to two millimeters and press enter. 
This is kind of slick. If you do control D, control up arrow twice, you can pick your second color. For simplicity, I am just going to do red and white. I'm gonna do control D on those and do control up one, two, three, four times. So you can see that they are stacked. I'm not gonna click anything else and it memorizes those movements. If I do control D again and again and again, I have just made my own second awesome gradient. I'm gonna grab all of them, I'm gonna group them. Initially, they turn to one color, but if I turn on multicolor, they come back. So now I'm gonna take my group and I'm gonna make my own custom frog with it. Friends, remember the trick is pretty simple. You just have to squeeze it in, make sure it fits on every side, which that one does. I'm gonna do a line. And I'm going to do center and center, which it was already good. So now I can group it and let's see what our cool red and white gradient frog turns out like. Friends, that's how easy it is to make your own custom gradient and a cool little frog. Friends, make sure you explore all the other creatures and shapes you can play with. You can have a ton of fun with these as you make awesome, colorful designs. Friends, if you ever make anything you think is incredible and you want me to take a look at it, all you have to do is click on this little icon up here, generate a link, copy the link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options don't work for you, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, and at the very bottom, there is a built-in messaging tool. You can paste in your share link, fill in your details, and shoot it to me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this lesson, and of course, if you did, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.